Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy time zone everybody. This is Road to Dusk. For those that are new to my streams, you can call me Road, Dusk, or anything else that you would call a friend. Uh, I am a newly budding variety streamer um, that is trying to get their foot in the door for some really, hopefully, fun and entertaining content. Um, let me know if the audio or like the music is too loud in the background. Uh, air server, why do you not want to show? There you are. Oh, that's why. Because you still need to be moved. Give me a moment. Because this wants to be a butt. Okay, now we will do this. Okay. Now to do that. Okay. That's about as large as I will take it. Um, I hope everyone is having a great time zone, by the way. So... I am drawing a personal friend of mine. You may have noticed that I draw a lot of personal friends. Uh, a lot of them being either newbie or somewhat big uh, PNG and VTubers. Yes, uh, last week we had Mama's Not a Gamer as one of the people that we drew. Um, now, this time we are drawing a friend of a friend of Mama's not not a gamer, uh, T Denine. Uh, they T Denine is a um, very small uh, streamer. I don't know if they are quite trying to get to affiliate right now, but they are a friend of mine, and I highly recommend that you go uh, see her content. I think she would be very appreciative. Uh, she does collaborate with Staining in the Pain, another person that I drew uh, recently. So if Mama's Not a Gamer and Staining in the Pain uh, have content that you like, I have no doubt that you will also enjoy uh, T. Denine's content. Please be sure to give her a shout out and tell her that Road to Dusk uh, sent you and says hi. Uh, with that said, I am already diving quite a bit into this. Um, how has everyone been lately? I hope uh, everyone is having a really great time. It is fr basically Friday morning, Thursday night. So we are getting right to the weekend, which is always fun. For me, Thursday is actually the start of my weekend since my tutoring job has a interesting schedule. I collaborate with uh, a, I don't want to say too much regarding my, uh, the, the folks that I work with, but um, let's just say there's a very interesting system that we have and there's a reason why I had uh, quite a few days off more than I had anticipated, so that meant that I was able to have days where I could stream with Top Hat. Unfortunately, uh, unless I get a different job, those days are going to be few and far between, unless Top Hat wants to have his own stream, which I keep trying to poke him, but I only poke. I don't want to pressure him. Speaking of Top Hat, um, I have a very funny story for you guys regarding something that just recently happened between uh, Top Hat and I. So, recently he came home from his work and he decided to want to get a little bit of a snack to like uh, treat us, uh, treat the both of us, uh, especially since how stressful 
uh, my tutoring can get sometimes when students suddenly go absent and don't communicate. So he bought um, one of those microwavable uh, tins of like brownie mix and like straight up on the packaging it looks like you are supposed to get like this really high quality uh, kind of skillet pan something it's at least supposed to look metal but what is in the packaging is a paper bowl and top hat got very very salty and it was kind of funny to see how salty he was because the schadenfreude the schadenfreude is real it is very much real see i hope that i'm not hmm, i wonder why my I see my frame rate is not very nice at the moment and I also notice I have a bit of a delay on my chat so I hope this isn't too much at the moment also I noticed that actually oh wait no that's just the lining from my thing okay Yeah, that looks like just lining difficulty. Okay. All right. So let's start working on this a bit more. I probably should have asked to Denine what they're actually before. I go too far with that because this starts the symmetrical area do, 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 do. I just want to see a thing. Mm. Sorry, just checking things on my end. There's a lot of things that I'm focusing on. I am having a very weird brain day. I used a lot of spoons to concentrate during tutoring today. And so now um, I do not have enough spoons to stay concentrating on one thing, so it's very hard for me to, like, keep track on just, say, drawing one thing, even though I know it is what I want to do. ADHD is a but. It is very much a but. too far with that. Let's work on the pants. There we go. She's wearing some skinny jeans.
give me just a moment. I am so scatterbrained tonight. I am so sorry. Actually, give me a moment. I want to see some... Oh, I see... Why is my... I totally forgot to turn on my text-to-speech. Wow. You can tell that this is a low spoon. That this is a low spoon night. <laughs> Uh, and the, speak, okay, um, uh, Soul CP, uh, Bunny, uh, Spoon, mentioning Spoons comes from, uh, a ADHD person, uh, I believe, I forget if it was actually an ADHD person or not, but somebody who is a medical professional, uh, coined what we now call the... I mean, I'm almost passed out, myself. Oh, goodness hell, that's loud. Um, oh, why do I hear, uh, to do, do all the, and also, if you need to sleep, go sleep, um, but the spoons, they come from a thing called the spoon theory, that's what I was trying to say earlier, so the spoon theory is basically this idea that, uh, spoons is basically a way to quantify the amount of effort it takes to do something. So, and different things take different amounts of effort, different amounts of spoons. So, say, um, and it varies for everyone, say you start out with 12 spoons. It takes, say, one spoon to make your bed. It takes three spoons to go to work. It takes an extra spoon if uh, it is a hectic day. It takes another spoon after that if it is an understaffed day and you're overstimulated. You're skipping again, dearie. Crapola. Why am I skipping? All right, let me see. Let me mess up my settings, see if uh, that might help. The output. Let's see if. All right, so I brought down the kilobytes per second. Let's see if this helps. Let's see if this helps a bit. But the spoon theory, so like, it's basically quantifying using a random item how much effort it takes. Only to do happened things. the once so far but I've been here less than five minutes. X3. Uh, fair. All right, why is... All right, let me see if that will be good. Ay, ay, ay. I might need to just do like weekly uh, checkups on my computer because like I don't remember dealing with many uh, hiccups um, on Saturday when I did my Splatoon stream. Well, Splatoon and... Oh no, I also did it Sunday because Top Hat... Uh, brain does not want to work today. I cannot even remember the stuff I did last week. But yeah, I, I don't remember, for the last stream that I did, I don't remember there being that much issue. So I think I just need to do like weekly checkups on this computer to see what's going on. I might need to also check in with my father since he was the one that made this computer and talk with him and work through a process on why it might be chugging. Because it's very, very confusing. Brains working are overrated. It's really okay. And I'm sorry my messages keep talking over you. It's all good. The wonders of Texas speech and technology. It is what it is. 
I'm not mad at you over... I'm not... I, I don't get mad when I'm overstimulated. That's not a feeling that happens when someone is overstimulated, at least for me. It's just... a little stressful, but not the stress as in, like, a fight or flight kind of kind of stress. It's very mild kind of stress that I think really needs a word uh, for its own kind of phenomenon. Because like, yeah, it happens and it's an important thing, but it's not, um, it's not miffed. So miffed yeah, I'd say miffed is a good word. Because I'm miffed. <laughs> well, hopefully... Well, wait, why are you miffed? G genuine question, why are you miffed? I'm tired and seeing the stuff not work is just hitting me harder than normal. Mm. I want your stream to go smoothly, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, I... I, I appreciate the, the, the empathy with that. It's just the wonders of technology. You can't live it, you can't live without it. And at the same time, if you don't have enough money to pay for like some really good stuff, and you're not tech savvy, you're kind of SOL a lot of the time, so uh, I'll just have to roll with the punches. You do roll well. Uh, I, I try to. I'm not sure how you're rolling and drawing at the same time. That is impressive. I mean... I, I mean, I'll admit... But you I'm roll well all the same. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's see... Howdy Road. Oh. Hey, Lexi. How's it going, hun? Oh, hey, Lexi. Hi, Selene. Give me just a moment, I'm getting distracted by texts. Hope everyone is well tonight. I'm doing alright, just... Also recouping God, I hate from... how the comma oh. is a longer pause than the full stop. <laughs> Not anything to fix, it just buffers me a titch. On um, Peppel. Yes, Bunny, there's people. Yeah, I'm doing alright, just recouping from last night. I postponed. I'm mostly drawing. okay. How is you, Lexi Boo? I'm just recouping from last night, because I took a mental health night last night. There was something that came up for me personally, and I was just overstimulated. 
in a very not fun way. Like, more than miffed, I was... Memories, I'm just gonna put it at that. I'm just trying to remember how in the flip I can draw a hand in this specific direction. Part of streaming is knowing when not to stream. I'm glad you took care of yourself. Yeah. Glad you're taking care of yourself. Today hasn't been as stressful. Made sure to take a break every hour or two to get progress going. Heck yeah. Because, yeah, breaks are important, because burnout, burnout is not fun. I can only imagine how streamer burnout is. I already deal with enough from my kind of burnout, <laughs> so I, I can only imagine. be sure that I'm actually drawing this flipping finger, right? Okay. Is there... Oh, there's something on the legs that is extending this out too far. At least I think that's it. Thank you, Road, for your help earlier. I'll send you the last of the paragraphs once I get back to writing. Yeah, not a problem. Take your time. No rush. Oh wait, I think I know what the problem is. It's the... Aha! There we go. Okay, so now I know... Watch our writing, Lexi. Actually, since you are working on stuff and you're also prepping for stuff for you and Alex, I'm going to give you a shout out! Oh, if I don't flip in cap lock. Thank you, Road. Also, Selini, I'm wrapping up progress on the new Jean and Clark book. Needed help revising and spell checking. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I'm actually really excited to see, like, the print for Jean and Clark. I'm really excited. I'm really excited for you and Alex, especially, for, like, getting this off the ground. I hope that um, the con went well recently as well. Well, you're also going to be going to another con 
uh, soon. Road, the roulette. Oh, the roulette. Oh, shit balls. <laughs> well, okay. Y'all are gonna have to try. Oh, crap. Wrong. Wrong flipping thing. Okay. Uh, please be one of my con lanes. Please be one of my con lanes this time. <laughs> Otherwise, I am just going to be quiet. So, right now. Uh, I'm still struggling and to figure now out I'm how I can show you guys. Oh no! Okay. Uh... O O F. All right. Uh, um. So, for those that don't know the roulette, this is a new bit because I am a sucker for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Asterisks underscore official oh, just subscribe. Oh. And it's an advert for a <gasps> bang bang game, which I detest. <laughs> okay, back. Oh my god. Flippin' Lexi, thank you for the subscription, you dork. Uh, but yeah, for those that have not um, seen my roulette wheel, unfortunately I'm still trying to figure out how in the hell I can even show it. But the language roulette is I have a wheel of all the languages that I have studied the most, including some constructed languages that I've done and have studied, like including Selena some that I've created. Oh my. Subscribed. Flip it. <laughs> Thank you both. I swear to all that is holy. The sound balancing XP. I am sorry. Thanks, Lexi. There's Selene. That should fix adverts for you. I'm sorry. Still trying to figure out sound bits because I, uh, I'm gonna have to mess with sound alerts because I switched all of my audio to sound alerts. Um, but okay, this is allowing me to stall a bit because it's also allowing me time to figure out a better way to explain the roulette wheel. So. The roulette wheel incorporates uh, the languages that I have had the most time studying, including constructed languages that I have studied or made for myself. Um, so uh, that includes German, which I studied in high school, Japanese, which I've been studying for a long ass time, Korean, which I studied in college, Spanish, which I've also studied in college, but much more briefly. Um, Tokipona, which is a very minimalist, um, a very minimalist language, uh, and my, one of my con lanes, uh, Rame. So, unfortunately, because I don't know how I can show my wheel, you're gonna have to trust me on what language that it lands on. And I will also say, just to be nice to myself, I do have a slice on the wheel that is English, so that if it lands on English, I can be a jackass. So, <laughs> let's see what it lands on. See, and you guys hear, you hear it turning. You hear it turning. I mean, it could be fun to just- Ah, oh, Kjarsti, yay, my man. me to show you how to make a scene for the wheel later, Rode. Persa. Uh, Asa, okay. So, uh, um, so, uh, here's the Casca Mayra, uh, Ray Mirica. So, uh, El Cosa Mayra, um, Man, Man, Dred, uh, Man, Dred, uh, Casca Mayra, Ray Mirica. Man, Dred Koska Myrer, Reaminifat. Oh, Ryan. I'm still trying to figure it out. Okay, so. Uh. 
Fav. Fav, man. So, here they thread. Fam. Quand I'm gonna get my. I got my hero metal set. You should have just a random test stream x3. <laughs> ah, Tobin. So, um, Varim Gersin Garibov? <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Whether testing or providing feedback, I'll volunteer as tribute. Yeah, see you later, Ah, so. I'll not make a. That. I'll not make a ton. That. A ton. That. Ton. Ah. Goodness it. Goodness it. Uh, got it. Okay. Um, you know what? I don't know how much time it's been. I was there was supposed to be. I forgot to put down a timer the for. TTS isn't handling it. X three. Yeah, the TTS does not like rain. I forgot to put down a timer for five minutes. I don't know how much time it's been. I'm just gonna stop right here. But now I realize I don't have a word for clock in my con lane, so I need to work on that. So I guess that was a quick I'm little fine snippet. If you want to stop it now. X3. <laughs> so that's a quick little snippet for everyone on my con lane, I guess. But yet. Yeah. Talking in rain sounds like a good way to find out what's missing from rain. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Because, yeah, that definitely made me realize I don't have a word for clock. I don't have a word for timer. And I don't want to uh, rip straight from uh, Japanese for the word for clock, toke. Uh, because while uh, there are some words that I've taken inspiration from for rain from German, Korean, Japanese, uh, and English, and a little bit of Latin. Um, I don't want um, the word for clock or the word for timer to be oh, a direct rip. Crap, why is there skipping? I wish there wasn't skipping. But, okay, where was I? Brain, work with me. Um, I don't want to rip the the word uh, for timer from Japanese or another language directly. Um, and others often need tone indicators to better understand what emotions people are trying to portray. Please remember to use tone indicators to ensure you are understood. For example, slash G means genuine tone. 
slash J means joking tone, slash HJ means half joking, slash SRS means serious, slash NM means not mad. So I want to try and figure out a different uh, way that I can make the word the words for clock and timer. Um, Cause I know like in Germanic languages, um, they do have separate words for those uh, compared to uh, Japanese, Korean, and the uh, Japanese and Korean, which take inspiration from uh, China or what Chinese is the languages. Word for wait and rain. Wait uh, machine might work. Wait machine. Uh, let's see the word for wait. Um, uh, so the word for to wait is um, nagen, um, and that kind of means uh, like to not go or a lack of movement. Um, so I'm not sure if that would fit precisely um, because also with how Rame is with turning verbs into uh, descriptors, especially for nouns, they add a ter at the end. And also with how Rame structures structures its compound words it doesn't do say uh for for a good way for me to describe it um in contrast the old english word for library was book hoard in rame it would be the the way that the words would be put together is switched it would be hoard book or uh if you if um it could be either hoard book or in some other ramel derivative languages book hoarding the 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 ted at the end of a verb acts kind of like a a key in korean or an ing at the end of english words Interesting. Is there a word for duration? I do not have a word for duration yet, actually. That could definitely be something that I can add. I'll definitely have to do that at some point. Okay, we need to translate Shakespeare into Rame or something as an exercise. Three. It's funny how you mentioned that because I, I have been so much of a nerd that I actually have been working on, like older incarnations of, uh, of Rame, like older historical versions of the language to actually show. Um, a context of like sound changes and things like that in the language. So if you're wanting like an early modern Rame, like I actually have written down enough historical con or equivalent of historical context for the sound changes in Rame and also grammatical changes in Rame for that. So the say the word and it shall be done oh heck the freezing is getting worse crap are you fucking kidding me let me see let me see if bumping up the kilobytes per second will actually change it Let's see if that helps. No, I'm seeing a lot more red and such on my end. Hold on. 
Are you is this maybe just my phone being scuffed? Is anyone else having issues? All right, let me let me mess with things a little bit. I switched my encoder preset to focus on quality. Let's see if that helps. Because thankfully with OBS, I am able to change that uh, while I am streaming. So hopefully that fixes the issue. let you know if I have more issues. Okay, yeah, Loudly. much appreciated. Loudly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be, like, feel free and if there's any more issues. With a maximum of whining. <laughs> uh, please do. Much appreciated. Alright, now actually before I go too far, I do want to actually want to add the pouch... Yeah, I have, uh, speaking of, like, my con lane, I have actually already made covers of some songs in my con lane. Like, this is a con lane that I've been working the on music since. music is also softer than the room noise, by the way. Oh, the, the music is also softer than the room noise. Okay. I will fix that. Let's see if that helps. Because unfortunately, um, I don't know why, but my OBS decided to combine the audio for the speech chat and uh, my uh, my music. So... But that's cool that you've translated some songs. Yeah. Because I am very much a dork, and I have had this con lane. I've been working on this call night since like 2016. There's been many iterations. Originally, it was just kind of something to pass the time while I was doing security work. Um, because I was like Five Nights at Freddy style kind of security, just sitting in front of a camera for several hours. Um, and one thing that I was able to do to ease my boredom was have a notepad with me and I did just squiggles of like random glyphs and such uh, cause I was actually inspired by another con lane from a video game series. The video game series is called Arts Delico and the con lane is called Hymnos. So I was inspired by Hymnos and just started working on the early beginnings of Rain, and now I'm where I am now to where I have like over a thousand words in Rain, but still apparently don't have a word for clock. <laughs> So, ah, uh, I see.
There we go. How many hours in a RAIM day? Uh, how many hours in a RAIM all day? So, um, it's a typical 24 hour. Um, I will say, um, because originally when I started doing like world building stuff for RAIM, I was actually thinking of things based on a, either a different plan, like a similar Earth-like planet, but not quite Earth. So, uh, the days and the calendar system is very much different. Um, it is 280 days, uh, with, um, a 32 day month and each week actually has eight days not seven days and there are names for different parts of the day based on four hour increments such as uh, early and late rising early and early and late uh watching such as like in relation to earlier times where people had to watch over uh their habitations and make sure that no one was going to get hurt, things like that. But there are, yeah, in a Ramel day, there are uh, 24 hours. Um, more commonly divided in uh, four hour increments as opposed to six hour uh, increments as is kind of more typical in like in well, sometimes four or eight well six or eight I notice is common in like like on earth for like a lot of like work schedules and such um, but they tend to do four hour increments and at least for the Ramel calendar, which is not the only calendar, um, all the days are named after eight notable deities, because especially when I was using my con lane for Dungeons and Dragons, I had a full-on Pantheon setup, which has also helped to give me inspiration for making proverbs and idioms and things like that because proverbs and idioms help to elevate uh, the culture and help to really solidify and help to ground the use of rhyme as like an actual language because the the it's not just the words that make a language it's also the cultures that influence the language Also, a fun bit that I have regarding Rame is that, similar to Germanic languages, um, Ramel languages are originally a duodecimal. They have a base 12 system. However, um, all but one of the modern Ramel languages, so Rame is not the only Ramel language, um, all but one of the Ramel languages now use base 10.
up? Did I lose connection with folks? Also, for those that are curious, I have tea. I don't think you disconnected. Okay. Sorry, there was just silence, so it was like, have I been rambling too much? But I passed out for a bit there. Oh. <laughs> see, I want to see if there's been any other redeems. Nope, not that I see. Okay. I still need to do the face. Of all things, I forgot to give her a face. No redeeming qualities in the audience. Gotcha. <laughs> That's not what I meant, Celine, and you know it. Not sure what the descriptor for smug teasing is, but I failed to put that tone indicator in that message in this one. Oh. Uh, I mean, slash T can be for teasing if you want to, if you consider it as like half joking, that's HJ. Something's off with the head, so I'm gonna move it, mess with it a bit. Okay. I don't know. Thinking takes brains, and I'm licking this spoon clean just to keep going a bit longer. <laughs> that is a mood. That is understandable. Alright, well... Uh, I think... Pretty sure that isn't how spoons works, but I'm rolling with it. I, I get what you mean. Like, trying to find all of the energy, and maybe, hopefully, getting the little bit of sweetness from the brownie mix that's on the spoon will give you enough to get through just for a little bit longer. Boneless pizza. Imagine if that's how spoons worked. Oh, if only. Also, hey, DBS. 
boneless pizza. What in the ever-loving hell? I worry about you, man. In the most loving way possible. Dad can't hear you. No, fuck. Gasp. He knows what I had for breakfast. Nobody can ever know I'm a batter eater. T I mean, batter would be nice. Hey, nice. Short ad. I'm glad. Alright, I don't think drawing uh, T. Denine is going to be my best. Also, work. my family calls crusts pizza bones, so boneless pizza makes sense. Oh my god. <laughs> MW, two of all things, lol. From from Modern Warfare 2? Oh, Lord have mercy. I am taking a very lazy route with the... With the eyebrows, do not that judge me. That was the me. rubbish it was peddling at me, too, DBS. Also, Haya. Do I like bone Do you like bone or boneless, or boneless pizza? pizza Salini? Honestly, for me, I gotta say, I know you asked it. I know you asked that to Celine, but I also want to say, for me, it depends on the pizza. If it's like Alfredo pizza? Um, I prefer just the bones, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Sup, Salini? How you been? For for me, I gotta say, if it's like, uh, it depends on the type of pizza, but it also depends on the brand of pizza. Cause like, I also if I don't like the, uh, if I don't like the, the the flavor of the crust for whatever reason, I usually like to try to mask it with say sauce so if I am able to get like some extra sauce so that I can dip the crust in like also I'm, how TDS says your name is fucking funny sorry if that annoys you though My bad didn't mean to cut you off road. You're good. Just the wonders uh, of technology. Can't live with it, can't live without it. I'm also trying to concentrate on the picture and figure out what is off about the, the face. Because there's something off about the face, but I can't describe it. Okay, that's helping. Her eyes are gonna be closed. Eh, it's not as bad as how that one guy at the restaurant used to mess it up. He kept writing Salem or Saline, so at least Salini sounds like TDS wants to nickname me. <laughs> that that's fair. And who in the hell mistakes Celine for Salem? Or Saline? Like that's just a that's not even a troll move, that's just a dick move. That's that that's like a barista that's trying too hard to go on Reddit. Okay, that is helping. That is helping a lot. 
adding the eye has actually helped a ton. Look at that cute face. Look at that cute face. Oh, I think I figured out why it looks weird. Everything looks... That everything is a little too scrunched up. I think it's because the top of the hood. Yeah, looks dude a was too a bit scrunched. of a dick. I wrote my name for him multiple times, so it was definitely just someone who had an issue with me on a personal level. He's not invited to my birthday party. Only thing I could say is going off sound, I could spell it and it would look like Salem, but once corrected, I wouldn't after. Dude messed it up daily for a couple weeks solid, so yeah. Anyway, at least it makes for a good story. Yeah, but... Uh, I, I feel bad for you because that's just, again, that's a massive dick move on his part. Like, he, he didn't even attempt to try to ask for... Like being corrected or anything. Like he sounds like the asshole. If he was just that being a dick, though, that's a different story. Yeah. Why would any have beef with you? I wouldn't know, since you seem like cool PPL. Yeah. He honestly sounds like the person who would just purposefully get uh, an immigrant's name wrong just just for what they think is a laugh, and that's not cool. Goofy ass dude. F R F R. Antenna in front. I'm glad you think I'm cool. Three. <laughs> I mean. Thank you. Yeah, I I definitely think that you are a very cool person, and you're a very nice person to be around too. Like you're you're a very supportive person, Celine, and you deserve the same support. I agree. She didn't have that much accenting actually for here, so. You know, random bit, when I have a little bit of extra money, I'm near tempted. Road and others often oh. need tone indicators to better understand what emotions people are trying to portray. Please remember to use tone indicators to ensure you are understood. For example, slash G means genuine tone, slash J means joking tone, slash HJ means half joking, slash SRS means serious, slash NM means not mad. Thanks for the interrupt. You're both too kind. I'm sorry if it took a bit to respond. I'm still passing out. You're good. If you need to lurk, just let this... Like, if you need to sleep, go sleep. Like, if you want to stick around to lurk, there is actually a, a cute little lurk message. So you can use that if you want. Take ya ass to bed then sleepy head. Right? <laughs> 
Like I, uh, Thanks I so much for lurking, friend. If you want to still support the channel while you're away, feel free to mute the streams tab in your web browser. Rip stream element TDS. <laughs> Homies passing out is not good y'all need to sleep. I mean... It, it depends. Because sometimes you just can't help but pass out. Sometimes, sometimes you just need to be in good company with friends and people that you trust Sleep before you can else. feel comfortable. Sometimes you don't feel comfortable sleeping alone, which is totally fine. I know I'm like that sometimes. Make me DBS. Ooh. Now, now, girls, you're both pretty. I will snuggle the homies till they sleep then. I mean, is that... Is that a promise? Or is that a threat? Bet getting my ticket FOT the plane now. <laughs> Fine, get your ass over here and let's cuddle. <laughs> I think both. <laughs> Both is good. Both is good. Bet, bet. Both is definitely good. Get ready to get cuddled to sweet dreams. I thought you were going to say get cuddled to death. Then again, Daddy Twitch probably wouldn't like that. Because, apparently, an AI cannot understand when people are being sarcastic or joking. I say that as someone that struggles to understand jokes and sarcasm. <laughs> Yep, and it sucks. Daddy Twitch sounds a little on the nose. <laughs> the AI needs tone indicators. The AI definitely needs tone indicators. Straight up. Kinky. Actually, weirdly enough, if we want to go into, like, 18 plus talk, which is totally fine because my streams are 18 plus, I actually don't have that kink. I don't diss anybody who has that kink, but like that kink is just not for me. I, I can't bring myself to call- We all know Twitch has a hot banning iron that it likes to use on quiet nights. Ah. <sighs> Why is it daddy Twitch and not mommy Twitch? Because English-speaking societies automatically assume that any authoritarian, uh, any authoritative figure must be masculine, so we just normalize masculine terminology more than we do feminine terminology. Oh, you meant that as a rhetorical question. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna sip my tea. Minty.
Yeah, I mean, there's not really a whole lot that I can do where um, any of this needs to be, like, pointed. So I think she's fine. Oh, I need to add the straps from her hood. So I am going to do that right now. I'm with Road on this one. The combination of provides needed resources and has no idea how to connect on a personal level mixed with harsh and arbitrary feeling punishment seems to be a masculine parent stereotype. Yeah. Which is especially prevalent in how we use uh when we attempt to use like gender neutral terms, especially from based on the Germanic roots of the English language, they're still masculine by nature. We treat the masculine as the neutral. Like actor instead of actress, but now we use actor to mean both actor and actress, even though by proxy and by etymological standard or the history of the word, actor is the masculine derivative of a person who acts. Oh. That's why I'm really hoping that um, younger generations will really hope will really work together to evolve I wouldn't know I barely had a dad lol. I barely had a mom. <laughs> um Flip. Um, but I'm really hoping that younger generations can help to really change uh, English as a language and help to actually normalize. And I barely have a Twitch, terminology. so that squares DBS. I'm really hoping that the that younger generations will be able to help change the terminology in English because I think that that will really help with helping our societies to better understand same lol better understand and better accept a lot of people especially gender neutral agender and gender flex individuals and intersex especially intersex Let's be marginally less shitty than our parents, so we can be the shitty ones when we get old. Mm, I mean, we can learn how to be less shitty like when we're older, because I mean, come on, if, if all we're going to do is just, like, cry to be better, push to be better, and then as soon as we have our use, we just revert to cynicism. I would love a cynicism. world where everyone makes me look shitty by comparison. Eh. Yes and no. I, I... I... I would like a world where there are people that make me look like I have a lot to learn. But I also want there to be a world to where... Like... I don't want to just be a person that needs to learn, because I mean, frankly, everyone still needs to learn. We are never going to stop learning. At the same time, I don't want to come off like I know everything. Because sometimes when you are a voice of a minority group or you have very passionate opinions, people may perceive you as wanting to know everything or assuming you know everything, which I don't know everything. I don't want to know everything. Because if I know everything, I have nothing else to learn. I have nothing else to change about myself.
I want to know nothing yet everything. That, that is honestly a mood. That there is very much a desire of like being like, yeah, I want to know stuff. I want to feel educated. I want to feel like I can do stuff. But there's... That at the same time, um, wanting to, I don't know, just have to, mm, actually, no, now thinking about it, knowing nothing does not sound like a good idea in my opinion, because that falls back into like the ignorance is bliss kind of mantra. Mantra is not even a right word, and I feel like that's... That might be an appropriative term. I don't know. Don't call me out on that. Um, but when everything is known, there is no room to improve and grow. And once that is gone, what is there left to do? Exactly. You, you, you hit the hammer right on the head there. Or hit the nail right on the head. Um, hold on. Alright, uh, hold on. Topic. Gotta remember. Fuck. It's uh. kinda like being immoral. Yeah, not knowing anything feels... It does remind me of that, but at the same time, I feel like one thing that we really need to stop doing is assuming that knowing nothing automatically means being immoral. Because it assumes that knowing anything or knowing everything is the best achievement possible and it a lot of people i have seen especially in my college classes when i was getting my degree knowledge is taken in a very classist way which is like if you don't have the right amount of money if you don't have the right or right amount of acknowledgement, this, that, or the other, if you don't have enough of something, you are not redeemable to assess that knowledge. You are not good enough to learn something. And that's very hurtful. And I feel like that's something that needs to be changed. I need to get her color palette. I have it in my friend uh, from my friend who sent me her color palette. Uh, where is it? I am going to not show my air server super quick because there is stuff on here that I don't want people to see, but it's going to be like a few seconds. I promise. Wait. Crap. Wrong Morality button. is weird. Morality is weird. I definitely agree. Uh, because a lot of people tend to assume that... Also doxing yourself again, Road. No, why do you think I turned off my air server? <laughs> I thought we talked about this LOL. I ain't, I promise. What, what, why do you think the screen is black? Yay, okay. I got, I got her now. Okay. Got what I need. Yay! There's my friend, T. Denine. She's a sweetie. Go love her. Or else. No, just kidding. <laughs> or am I? Dun, dun, dun. No, I'm, I'm not that way. Even in a joking way, I could never do that. I could never jokingly 
put someone's life on the line. I could never do that. I never want to do that actually. That just feel that just feels wrong to especially when a person doesn't know um your sense love of humor. how you were saying to go love her as you zoom in right on her breasts. That was on accident. Oh my god, do not <laughs> Do not take me for a perv. How dare you? <laughs> how dare you DBS? I'm actually Honestly, considering I'm more demisexual, like, um, demisexual as is, like, I, like, bodies are nice, physiques are nice, I don't really go for... MHM right sure, slash S slash J. Hmm, now, talking serious, super quick, cause, like, I get it, like, I get it was a joke, but I also want to say a thing, um... I care a lot more about how people act and how well of a relationship that I have with someone. Not just a relationship as like a partner, but a relationship as a friend. So if I don't feel comfortable with you, nine times out of 10, if not like very, like 9.9 .9 times out of 10, that means we're not going to be a thing. And people are just Connection gotta get is used more to, it. to you than the body, right? Connection is more to me than the body. Um, yeah, my the connections that I have with people are more to people's um, heart, to people's emotions and their personality, more than their body or their face. I, oh, I don't know why, but I was just reminded of the one flippin' thing of, like, this one dude hyping himself up, be like, All right! I represent all men in this! Or I will not look at, a, at this streamer's boobs! I am a man of culture! I am a man of honor! And as soon as he gets the to his seat, his eyes immediately go to, to the girl's boobs, and he's like, "Fuck!" I don't know why. I was just reminded of that. The One Piece is real. The One Piece is real. Hmm. The One Piece. Okay, I am blanking on what you're talking about. <laughs> I love that clip so much. Okay, so you know the clip I'm talking about. Good. Four ads, bro. I'm gone for a sec. Crap. Just all the build-up only to suddenly fail. <laughs> yeah, just all the build-up until he just fucks up royally. Hyping himself up and, and just boom, crash. It, it's funny in a very cathartic way, but it's also just the best word that I can use for it and I don't feel like it fits. 
because it also feels really haughty to say this, but it's a little pathetic. If he breathes, he's a shrimp. If he breathes, he's a shrimp. <laughs> All men are kings. Yeah. Unless they are a... I mean... Mm. I, I have to rebut that. That there are some individuals, regardless of gender, that are Fucking love that comment. unsavory individuals. I haven't seen that comic in a while, actually, so... Saving VOD? Saving the VOD? Um, most likely, yeah. I've been putting most of my VODs on uh, my YouTube channel, which is in my uh, description in, um, like, here on the, on the Twitch, if anyone wants to look at it. I've been putting a lot of VODs on there lately, actually. Yet I seen that, I was asking cause I wanted to ask if you could change the music to something slash react to something but don't want your stuff flagged for copyright. Mm -hmm. Including that super delayed splat 3 VOD. Oh. Yeah, including the, the delayed uh, splat, yeah. Because while it was delayed, it was still some decent content. So... I do think that it's still all right enough. Plus, I'm still a baby tuber. If I really don't feel, if I don't feel comfortable with it, I will probably unpublish and take and take it down from YouTube. Era, era. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I should probably actually set a point redeem for the ada ada. <laughs> Era, era. <laughs> Look. <laughs> okay, honestly, actually, if you're worried about the Ara Ara, um, Sir is a skeptic to set all the time on his streams and, like, in, um, the, the videos that Lala, he has. Lala, Lala, Lala. Lala, Lala, Lala. God damn it. <laughs> but, um, Sir is a skeptic does Ara Ara a lot on uh, his streams, and he saves them on uh, the videos that he compilates for like his stuff, because he's a he's a political VTuber and he does a lot of good stuff, honestly. But he does keep the like ara aras, he does oh whoa, ooh, well he does uwu, and people then have to pay like fucking 50k points for him to say oh whoa 
uh, because it's an inside joke. We are no strangers joke. to love you know the rules and so do I, do I, a full commitment's what I'm thinking of you wouldn't get this from any other guy I just uh, wanna just tell you how I'm feeling okay, gotta man. make you understand never gonna give you up never gonna let you down never gonna run around and desert you never gonna make you cry never gonna say goodbye never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. See, I actually don't mind saying TDS going off XD. Oh, you're the one who instigated it. You're the one who set it off. Oh, I thought. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bunny. I thought that comment was from flipping. <laughs> flipping DBS. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. But, fuck, as I was, I forget what I was trying to say earlier. God damn it. God damn it, buddy. Bobby. I can't even say the fucking quote right because I do not care for Kane of the Hill, but fuck it. Change the music? All right. I actually saw that this time. All right, let's change the music. Um, I don't want to do music from like Spotify or anything like that at the moment. So I'm using Bardley for my music. Give me an aesthetic that you want to go for, Bunny. For those that do not know, this is absolutely not sponsored. Oh, I just, shoot up. This is totally not sponsored. I just love what they do. Bardley is an indie program that is namely for, like, D&D stuff. They give you a very large library of music that you can use that is loopable for, like, D&D podcasts and immersion stuff like that. And that is what I've been using throughout my streams for music. Because it's royalty free! Road and others often need tone indicators to better understand what emotions people are trying to portray. Please remember to use tone indicators to ensure you are understood. For example, slash G means genuine tone, slash J means joking tone. Slash HJ means half joking, slash SRS means serious, slash NM means not mad. Town or store? A town or a store, okay. Uh... Shush Elam slash J. Fill M with the venom and eliminate M other words. I'm in it made M I don't wanna hurt M, but I did. I'm in a fit of rage I'm murderin' again. Nobody will evade, I'm finna kill em and dump all their fucking bodies in the lake obliterating Jeez everything. Louise, Incinerate DBS. the renegade, I'm here to make anybody who want it with the pen afraid, but don't nobody want it, but they're gonna get it anyway. What song is that? I have never heard that song before. And that kind of threw me off a bit. It's like I immediately turn the music to like this cheerful performance in a tavern kind of shit, and then we get that beat, like damn. Like, that's raw. But also, for like the sake of stuff in the future, probably not, not a good idea to be posting uh, lyrics in TTS that have mentions of unaliving stuff, just in case, just, just in case Big Brother is overhearing.
Godzilla by Eminem Foot the Late Juice World. Oh, okay. I honestly haven't heard a lot of music by Eminem in a good while. Not because I don't like his music, but more just. I. I have just been not it's the in the headspace to the fast for... part of it. Ah, uh, I see. I... Yeah, I've just not been in the headspace for rap lately. I've been more in the headspace for... for metal and whatnot. Metal has always been a little more my cup of tea, and I know I've gotten into hip -hop, in the hip-hop world pretty late. It's off the music to be unlived by album. Ah. Hmm. I'll see if I can give that a listen at some point then. Just had a double take in the brain again. I was like, wait, it's 1.39. What am I doing streaming? I started streaming at midnight. I'm fine. <laughs> I wonder what an m and metal song would be like. Uh, an m and metal... Hmm. Okay, you wrote Eminem as in the candy. Are you sure you mean the candy, or are you meaning the rapper? Because if you're wanting rap combined with metal, just look at old school new metal with like older Evanescence and Linkin Park. Like, that is straight up just metal combined with hip hop. Figured the candy spelling of the candy would be easier for TDS. Uh, I'm playing Lego game with you background. I forgot how many jokes it tries to pop in. Yeah, Lego games really have a really interesting sense of humor. Top Hat's been really trying to get me into Lego games. <laughs> he actually has quite a few of the Lego games in his Wii library when he gets Candy his Wii Candy spelling from of the rapper would be easier. Sorry, I had a dumb moment spelling. No, you're good. Spelling asterisk. It's all good. Just curiosity killed the cat with that. Um, going back to what I was saying, flipping. Top Hat uh, has uh, quite a few of the Lego games on his Wii. He's been trying to get me into the Lego games, and I'm really hoping at some point that I can convince him to get into streaming solo, because I think you guys would enjoy him being solo and him doing like his own content. Because he does like to Wheat do- is the worst console, TBH. Wii is the worst console. I think that's the Wii U, my guy. Like, the Wii... The Wii was okay. It was literally just a gimmick console because it, it was the first popular... Solo Lego can be interesting. It was the first popular console that really revolutionized motion controls. It was definitely, absolutely, fucking lootly a gimmick uh, Wii was console. what I grew with. But Wii it's is a also... close second, but you write the Wii U is worst. Yeah, I grew up with. I grew up a little bit with the Wii, but the PS2 has more memories uh, for me actually, and I will definitely say PS2, absolute banger of a console. What about PSP? 
PSP? Not bad, actually. I didn't get a PSP until I was, like, much older. I got it as, like, a Christmas present by a really toxic Wii family was a member. Decent console. Worst console candidates include Virtualboy and that Panasonic CD console. Oh! The Virtual Boy! Oh, no! Not the Panasonic! You mean the Philips CDI! That shit can die in a hole! <laughs> But, um, PSP is actually not that bad, um... But let's be fair, without both of them, we wouldn't have the probably one of the best consoles ever made the Switch. Oh, uh, fair. Very fair. The Switch has been a very, a very great, a really nice console. Um... Because I feel like it's taken a lot of good things from... Well, at least focusing on the controllers, I feel like it's taken a lot from the Wii and Wii U, and it has taken another step in And I mean, out of the major direction. gaming companies, the Wii and Wii U were kinda ass. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Um, I never actually got into the 360, honestly. I've never really been a Microsoft kind of guy for consoles. I was raised on so I was raised on Sony, and I will die with Sony. Well, I will I will unalive with Sony. Man, I can't even not say the word myself. But flipping Sony can Sony consoles have way too much memories and nostalgia for me. I like there's so much context on. I never played any Xbox consoles. That there's so much context on why I appreciate PlayStation and why also the chaos currently with the PS5 and the gouge pricing and, well, price gouging and Sony now bumping up the price of the PS5 just makes me so disappointed. I don't idolize the, I don't idolize Sony as a company. I don't deify any of the consoles, but I do have a a lot more respect and a lot more memories with Sony consoles than I do Nintendo or Microsoft. I hope I'm making sense with that, by the way. <laughs> that was a little bit of a tangent. I grew up with Nintendo and PS at first, but later on grew with Nintendo. Uh... Yeah, um, uh, I had the... Caleb the Hiles made a, a glimpse bit. of us cover. <gasps> Ooh, I'll need to listen to that. I will definitely need to listen to that. I got into the Wii and Nintendo consoles pretty late, um, and even then, like, my interactions with Nintendo consoles didn't last long until I basically just, like, I, I had more experience with Nintendo at, with, as handheld consoles than I did any other consoles. Like, I didn't have a PSP until... I grew up with PS and Xbox so I love both and NGL don't fuck with the prices of the PS5 increasing, but I might have to fuck around and go homeless for one because of the new God of War. A, no. You better be joking, cause your safety does 
your, your safety is more important than having a console. Consoles are material. Games are material. No broke. No broke. No go broke. It is joke. Okay. I was about to say, don't make me go over there and bap you. I know what state you live in. I ain't gonna dox you where you live, but I, you, you told me where you live. I will find you, and I will bap you. <laughs> oh, inside joke for the bonks. Um... So, Bunny, the bonks, I got Hot this- Hot I... I'm moving Sunday. Hey yo, congrats on the move! Uh, but inside joke with the bonks. So, it comes from, uh, a lovely deer who I mod for. <laughs> uh, asterisks, uh, she was in the chat with us not too long ago. Uh, but she is who- she calls herself a, um... Uh, a wholesome being, uh, like a wholesome individual emphasis on the hoe. She is very sassy, very flirty, and we love her for it. Um, and she has a thing on her streams where if she's going too much horny yeah, on me. going home for con and to meet asterisks and butt. Hey, yo, nice. Um, but going How back to. How do I do shout outs? Shout outs, um, uh, actually. So I can I only have the mods and myself doing it, so There we go. Another shout out for Lexi. But for the bonks, uh Lexi has a thing on her stream oh, to fair, where fair. she lets people bonk her when she is being like too quote unquote horny on main. So I have that for my streams as well, because why not? Bunko B R R R. Bunko Burr. Alright, now to get some more dark colors. Wait, before. Before I do that. Oh, 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 what this do? Oh, what does what do? <gasps> oh, yeah, my dragon! I gotta see this. Yay, Terror 1! Good boy. Oh, and he's got a little crown now. That's fucking adorable. But yeah, anything that you see that says that is uh, a point redeem for dragon, so like feed dragon, whatever, battle dragon, dragon says hi to chat, anything like that, you interact with the little dragon that I have up here. His name is Terror. But it's spelled in a funny way, T-E-R-A-R, -R, because uh, in my con lane, it is pronounced Terod, and it means star because I am that much of a fucking nerd. Get mad. <laughs> Yay, need Ness. Hmm? Nerd asterisk. <laughs> Yes, nerdness. Alrighty, Dighty. Uh... I feel like I might honestly need to. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. So, revert this back. I want to make my own lore, but has many games to play. 
Ooh. Yeah, that's a mood. Um, I would say I am a... I also am... check out this dude Deboy because he also did a cover of Glimpse of Us. Let me know what you think. Ooh, uh, send me his cover... Well, send me I'm their cover XP. in, um... Send me their cover in DMs. I will take a look at that sometime later. Probably tonight while I'm laying down. That's looking better. Now to work on the dark color for... Well, let's combine the colors there. Let's work on the main color for pants, finally. Sent you both covers, my guy. Nice. I'll check them out after stream. Thank you. Have been given ads. No! You want to work on the shadow for
back. Welcome back. So road merch win? Uh, depends. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on the kind of merch that y'all want to see. Uh. I mean, I have very basic graphic designing skills. Namely because I've just been teaching myself, so I can't really say that the designs that I would make would be sufficeable. I have plans uh, based on, like, the lore that I have and such, which, and I hope you don't mind the shameless plug, uh, I have a Donathon stream coming in on the 30th of Sep- uh, excuse me, 30th of September, where, I'll um, DM you real quick as to the merch we want, lol. Yeah. Uh, but I have plans for, um, things that I want to do for the, uh, for the Donathon, as well as also, it's- going to be uh, a, a donathon where I need a little bit of extra uh, funds for Top Hat and I just cause my Check your DMS, LOL. is not uh, being reliable yeah who would have thought that a tutoring job would actually give some reasonable accommodations for income nope but um, yeah I'll check DMs in a bit I, I'm on a bit of a spiel, uh, but any amount of support will help out for the Donathon. The I'll start taking donations for when I'm going to be doing stuff for uh, starting on uh, I think either the tw probably the 27th um, or probably the 28th. Um, but I will note that. Um, one of the things that will be re that will be redeemable is teacher my health care is the same health care a racehorse with a broken yeah. leg gets. Yeah, teacher health care is the same health care a racehorse with a broken leg gets. Yeah, I mean, what's what what's kind of worse is that um, I'm an I'm an independent contractor with how my tutoring is, so I don't even get health care. I'm currently fighting with my state to get, like, state health care. If YKYK. If you know, you know. Yep. My joke hits even more now with having that info road. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. the highlight for the hair sooner or later. Stretchies, hydrate, and noms, thank you! I really appreciate it. Um, the nearest snack that I actually have is some jelly beans. Ow. Um, thankfully they're not the bean boozled, so there is that. Um, but I do also have some tea. Um, and Goodness gracious, I need a better flipping chair. Mm. All right. I'm going to change this to the deep. I'm going to have this more of like the no I want to change the saturation that's what I want 
You should make Bean Boozile to read them more like a dono thing. Oh, that's gonna be on the dono. Hands down. Absolutely. I got plans. I already have a bag of Bean Boozled up ready. Chris's underscore KRS. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chris Hopkins with seven raiders. Fucking. Chris's underscore KRS just raided the channel for three viewers. Chris's underscore KRS just hosted oh my god. the stream for one viewer. Flipping. Shush. The pitiful almond just oh raided the channel with seven viewers. Speech chat. Shush. <laughs> Mao! I almond! It's raids and it's a double raid! Crisis! Goodness gracious, thank you! Crisis, the pitiful almond, thank you both, you absolute beans, which is funny because I'm eating jelly beans. Give me a moment to shout the two of you out. Hold on. Crisis, how's it going? Hold on, crisis underscore underscore KRS. Um. I assume the two of you were playing uh, Phasmophobia together. I know uh, Almond likes to play Phasmo a lot. And I think I've seen you play with her a few times. Wait, didn't you collab? Uh, didn't you play with me one time, like back in June? I remember that I was playing um, Phasmo with Almond and a few others. And it was the, my first time playing Phasmo, and I, I remember this distinctly, like the fucking, well, I'm done. I'm going to die doing what I loved, hearing my fiance's dog go ape shit, and that's <laughs> my first death in Phasmo. But yeah, for those that are just hopping in and kind of new to my to my content, hi, I am Road the Dusk. You can call me Road Dusk. Just be sure that it's anything that you will call a friend. I am a newbie variety streamer. I'm currently actually drawing a friend of mine, T Denime. Uh, she collabs with some other friends of mine, uh, namely Mama's Not a Gamer and Tuning in the Pain. Uh, they've recently been playing a lot of Splatoon 3. Uh, if you guys have the spoons, please be sure to I give am sorry them a to wait out. and run, but I am so tired. So I am a go rest. Hey, do what you have got to. Have fun streaming Road. Yeah. Road and others often need tone indicators to better understand what emotions people are trying to portray. Please remember to use tone indicators to ensure you are understood. For example, slash G means genuine tone, slash J means joking tone, slash HJ means half joking, slash SRS means serious, slash NM means not mad. And your art is going amazing. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Almond. And yeah, I'm actually just about at the halfway point because this is a late night stream since, um, I didn't get off work today until like 10. Nine, everyone. Nine, nine, everyone. Have a good one, Almond. Yeah, if you guys need to sleep, go sleeps. Ain't nothing wrong with sleeps. Health is important. I was originally actually supposed to have this drying stream last night, but I had a really bad mental health day and I needed to take care of myself. So, do as I say and as I do. If you need to go sleep, go sleep. Got things to do, so I gotta head out as well. Have a good rest of your stream. Thank you, Crisis, and try not to have too much fun. But, um, Derp, going back on my spiel, um, I'm kind of a newbie ver variety streamer. I do a lot of gaming, I do a lot of drawing, as you see here. Um, my typical streams are Saturdays and Sundays on uh, 8 to midnight Eastern, and I also have uh, a late night stream, uh, technically Thursday mornings at midnight Eastern, so if any of that sounds your fancy, feel free to stick around. 
Uh, I will note that I will be having a affiliate celebration stream on the 30th of September, where there's going to be a lot of like fun stuff. I'm hoping to uh, draw a lot more, do a few drawing challenges, and also do some gaming challenges during the stream, while I'm also going to be taking donations for uh, in regards to like my living situation. If if any of that sounds up your alley, feel free to stick around. If not, nothing wrong with taking a little bite, admitting that you don't like it, and putting it away. Nothing wrong. Hope you're doing well, and I hope and I hope you'll stick around. You ever just drink hot sauce? No. I I like spicy, but I don't like spicy that much. Like I will honestly eat like kimchi just on its own. Like I love kimchi that damn much, but I could never have a spoon of hot sauce or just go straight hot sauce like down my gullet. I I couldn't. I would do it on a dare, like I'll probably have that on my punishment wheel for the stream, but I wouldn't do it normally. You ever eat a habanero? No, I have not eaten a habanero. Just like the whole pepper by itself. Yeah, no, honestly, I don't really have pep like straight a, a straight pepper like that. No, that's I've never done that, and my brain is not wanting to compute with what I'm wanting to say right now. <laughs> I have done that. Y you've done that? How was it? Did it hurt? Genuine question, did it hurt? You like hot chips? Also, have you saved? Uh, I mean, hot chips sometimes, and also, thankfully, since... This is on my tablet on an art program. It saves automatically. So as long as I don't accidentally, say, delete the file, I'm golden. Not fun and no, it didn't hurt, but would still not recommend. Hmm. No, totally understandable.
think I'm just gonna have to make the lines here on the base of the hoodie thicker. looking a bit better already. thickening the lining for the pouch. Pop or soda? Um, wait, pop or soda as in like a dialect thing? I say soda. I know it's a lot more common to say uh, pop in the neck of the woods that I was raised in, but I prefer to say soda. say soda. both. I says soda. Yeah, that that's fair saying both, and it's fair saying soda. I know there are actually some parts of the U.S. that actually call all sodas uh, the. They call all sodas coke, which, I mean, it works. I mean, we call all types of tissues that are used to help us when we have a stuffy Just nose a drink. Windex. A Windex. Not a Windex, Kleenex. But we do, speaking of Windex, I know there are some places that call all uh, window cleaning and other types of cleaning supplies Windex, so I mean that's not too far off. Fizz a drink is my fucking favorite name for pop slash soda. Eh, fair.
but the bigger question is Coke or Pepsi? Uh, Dr. Pepper. Also love how TDS says fuck and fucking. <laughs> but yeah, no, honestly, Dr. Pepper. Like, if... I, so, I, yes. For, for the Coke and Pepsi, if I really have to choose between Coke and Pepsi, it would have to be Pepsi. Spirit and Dew are all I drink FR. Valid. I used to drink Mountain Dew a lot. Now, not so much, because I get acid reflux way too easily. And root beer every now and then. Yeah, root beer every now and then is pretty nice. But I definitely prefer... Um, my, my go-to, honestly, is always Dr. Pepper, or really, Mr. Pib. Top Hat's really got me on Pib. Um, I do miss having Ramen-A. ramen is really good. Do is the gamer drink slash J. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong with that. But still, if Mountain Dew is, a, is the gamer's drink, Ramen A is, is the flippin' nerd's drink. And I am a nerd, and I love me some Ramen A. Especially flippin' pineapple flavored Ramen A. That's the shit. I'ma make me some ramen now, thanks a lot, Road. You made me want ramen, Jay. I said ramen, -a, not ramen. But fair, ramen's also pretty good. It's not a drink. Oh, actually, I'm pretty sure there's like ramen flavored ramen. -a. People have made some curse shit. Oh, tea's good. Tea. And I do have tea. Which is now. The broth cool. can be a drink. The broth can be a drink. Let's get this. Tee hee 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 hee. Saturated and then. Would you rather be in Pokemon or U G I O? Uh, Pokemon. Because I don't like the idea of. Well, depends. Better context with Yu Gi Oh! Would I be a duelist or would I be a card? Because I do love the lore of like especially OG Yu-Gi-Oh with the Millennium Puzzles. I haven't really kept up with newer Yu-Gi-Oh ever since GX. So I can't really say um, how much I would prefer unless you're going to give me some context and ideas on what, um, like, for, for Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, if you I'm gotta going, remember yeah. all the Pokédex entries if you lived in Pokémon. Yeah, you do gotta remember all the Pokédex entries if you are in, in the Pokémon world. Um, I mean, I don't mind that. And I mean, technically, you don't have to remember them by heart. You just gotta have a Pokédex. So, and it's like, frankly, given my brain... Having a Pokedex Unless you are would a help trainer. me. Like, having uh, the Pokedex would definitely help me out. Then you just battle. My, my brain does not want to remember stuff sometimes. I, I mean, maybe a better question uh, would be if I were to actually be in the Pokemon world, what would y'all think would be my Pokemon if I was a trainer?
like the starter or all? Uh, all of them. Like you can you can include starters. I will note that I am like if it helps y'all with figuring out Pokemon, I am a fire starter main. I've always done fire starters ever since I got into Pokemon. Starting at, I'd like, rather be in Pokemon Bikashu EV, and I could raise an army of the different EVs, and I could fight God. Yes, very true. But uh, I've always been a fire starter kind of guy. Like ever since my first Pokemon game, which was Pokemon X, I've always uh, loved uh, Fennekin, Litten, and Scorbunny. Also, for you, I'd say a Water type or Fire type Tranier. Ooh. Fire type and water type. That's a really interesting combo. I mean, there is Flippin' Volcanion, who is a fire water type. Apple Dragon. The Apple Dragon. Yes. Flippin' love Applin. Of Pokemon, who's excited for Scarlet and Violet? If you live in Pokemon. You can the waifus of Lapunny, Garavar, and Vaporeon. Oh, the waifus of Lapunny, Gardevoir, and Vaporeon. <laughs> Actually, I'm not really too big in like the waifu or husbando culture. So like, if y'all if y'all got waifus and husbandos, like more power to y'all. Also, if anything for me, if I honestly had to pick a waifu, Primarina. I love, love Pre Marina's design. I love her. For the new Pokemon, I'm still on edge of buying or skipping. Yeah, I'm still on the fence for... Like, I'm not sure if I want to pre-order... Um, I'm not sure if I want to pre-order Scarlet and Violet yet. Because... It's a very divisive game already with like how the co-op is, uh, rumors related to Sprigatito, the Sprigatito. So... Yeah. Garavare, I could see cause all the diff evolutions, but anything else is too damn furry for me. Oh, Gardevoir, you could see because of all the evolutions, but anything else is too furry. Also, five ads, I'll be back in an hour. Oof. Big oof. I'm sorry, DBS. Also, they never showed the evil line yet for the starters. 
No, they haven't shown the evolution line for them. I think they're doing that on purpose. Cause the grass cat? Probably cause the grass cat, yeah. Because people, there are two things. I am back, bitches. Welcome back. There are two things that veteran, that like veteran uh, Pokemon gamers. Tbh, I was really always a grass like. stater person. I, I've noticed that there are two things that veteran Pokemon gamers do not like. One, fire fighting, and two, quadruped Pokemon that turn bipedal through their evolution line. And I know a lot of people are really pissed off and salty about the possibility of Sprigatito uh, turning into another biped. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, considering I didn't grow up with Pokemon, I didn't get into Pokemon until I was 18 because my mother thought that Pokemon was a devil. Um, I really don't get the, well, I understand the anger, but I don't understand the severity of it. I empathize with it. I understand where it comes from. I understand the anger, like the repetition, but I don't understand the. I don't understand the extent of the level of salt that the thought of the of those controversies instigate. I never played nor liked Pokemon FRFR, still don't just like the fan shits more and a few Pokemon now. Yeah, fair. Pokemon's not for everyone, just like how I Digimon think it's because it happens so often. Yeah, that is a fair point. It does sound like they've happened Like Eevee often. and Rapidash. Yeah, Eevee and Rapidash flip and love them. The evolutions, I think a lot of folks, even folks that aren't super big on, on Pokemon, definitely love them some evolutions. which, who doesn't? The evolutions are adorable. Especially Sylveon. I actually really like... Sylveon and Espeon are my favorite evolutions because I really... If I have to pick my favorite secondary Pokemon, it's always going to be, like... My favorite primary Pokemon type is Fire. Secondary or second favorite is always going to be a tie between Fairy and Psychic. What is your favorite three Pokemon, design, or mechanic? Oh, uh, I mean, my favorite, maybe my favorite three Pokemon uh, favorite three design or favorite three mechanic? Um, my favorite three Pokemon, I gotta say, um, I'm, I'm gonna go evolution line. Best evolution wise, go... Flareon is the best, or whatever the fire one is. Yeah, Flareon. Um, I will say my favorite three Pokemon evolution lines Evolution, obviously, and the Fennekin line and the Ryalu line.
Uh, favorite mechanic? Um, I will say a Pokemon I made has a very soft place, has a very special place in my heart, namely because, again, because X was my first Pokemon game, Pokemon Ami is really adorable, and I love the the ability to interact with Pokemon the way that it allows. Plus, um, I also love character customization, uh, which Pokemon X also introduced, so... Would you yeah. rather live in Naruto or Dragon Ball franchise? Uh, I don't know because I really don't know either of those series. Um, based on world building, I would have to say the Naruto series. Based on what little of world building that I know about the Naruto series. With or without powers. With or without powers, um... Fuck me. Um, I I would yeah. say with the powers, just because keeping the world, uh, like keeping the integrity of the world, I think is important. Um, but also I would, wrote, how could you slash J? The, <laughs> look, I when when Naruto was popular. I am so betrayed, RN. Look, when Naruto was popular, I wasn't allowed to watch it because my mother thought it was the devil. So, it's way too late for me to get into Naruto right now because one, there are too many episodes of Naruto for me to get into, and it's not to the point that there's fucking Boruto. Same thing with Dragon Ball Z. She thought it was the devil, I wasn't allowed to watch it. It didn't stop me from watching some shows like Roroni Kenshin, Inuyasha, Wedding Peach, Sailor Moon, which she didn't like Wedding Peach because Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune were lesbians, but I digress. Well, you could just not watch Burrito. Just so hurt by this choice man. And here I was thinking we could go super soon together slash J. <laughs> Road and others often need tone indicators to better understand what emotions people are trying to portray. Please remember to use tone indicators to ensure you are understood. For example, slash G means genuine tone, slash J means joking tone, slash HJ means half joking, slash SRS means serious, slash NM means not mad. I, I don't know, like, a fusion dance might be interesting Ellen, sometimes. I will double slap your TDS. <laughs> hey, I mean, reminders on tone indicators can be, can be important. Let TTS be. They're just doing their job. Also, you could watch the shows with demons in M or about demons, but not the fucking monkey tail alien fighting the white and purple alien. What but mean, Rayan, let's see. I could actually. So my my egg donor was a very fickle individual. She would not let me watch Pokemon or Digimon because they were too violent and were the devil. She wouldn't let me watch Naruto because. Ninja of ninja and violence, obviously invoking at the devil. Um, I couldn't watch Sailor Moon because not because it was a devil, but because of lesbians and queer relationships. Um, there were a lot of anime and a lot of shows that I couldn't watch. And as for Inuyasha, Rony Kenshin, I snuck watching those. She didn't let me watch those. I snuck watching those. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, like I said. 
she she is a very fickle individual and she's gotten more fickle through the years and i am glad that i, I mean have he no did have a nine tail fox demon inside him so like loki i get that one but still bad and am not defending her actions slash srs hmm. om no I, I was bringing that up I, I was bringing that up like i knew you were joking i was i was half joking with me bringing things up to where it's like yeah, it, the, the context and why things are there on what happened and me being isolated from a lot of anime is a serious conversation, but it's also kind of funny in a very cathartic way on um, the reasons on why I was isolated from anime, if that makes sense. check to see if uh, anyone's redeemed anything. Because there's quite a Kinda lot that yet. people can anyway, redeem. Anyway, I'm a peace out for a bit. Might come back later. We'll see, though. I will lurk in chat, though. Okie dokie. Uh, I think I'm actually getting close to ending stream, just because this is... Th this picture is coming out a lot quicker than I expected, so, like, I didn't expect it to be this simple, but I guess that just means that the next time that I draw something, or dr someone, I will go a little more experimental. Almost hitting the three hour mark. Almost hitting the three hour mark indeed, and I normally try to go for four hours, but I'm still mentally not a hundred percent from last night i'm like at like a 95 but like that five percent is still important so i might call it a little bit early just so that i can just lay down we are the secret spoons secret spoons That actually sounds like a kick-ass name, not gonna lie. Rain and their secret spoon fighters. Rain and their secret spoon fighters, definitely. Oh, did I tell you I got a DM and follow from some dude who claimed to be in the Illuminati and was trying to send me a $100. See, that is what we call a scam. Good on you for not touching it. Because it's also super weird to get random friend requests. Honestly, I highly recommend you set your DMs on Discord to friends only, because that will stop people from the po from possibly huh. funny man tried yeah funny man tried indeed but he failed so i highly recommend that you set your dms to friends only um because that will curb that from happening um it doesn't it's not a hundred oh no i've cool. been fucking with bro cause i find it funny from to fuck with scammers oh valid i mean you do you you do you, I do me, and we won't do each other.
actually, speaking of fucking with scammers, do you... There's a lot of, um... The, of, like, YouTubers that I watch that like to get back at scammers. Um, you heard of... The, I'm not trying to, like, coin oh, them. Oh, yeah, no, anything. I got most of my personal socials set to private anyway. Nice. But have you heard of the... Of the YouTuber... Pleasant Green, not trying to plug, not meaning to plug him, I just like his content. Also, if they ever from Ilum, one, they would say they are from, and two, that is nothing money. Yeah. Wouldn't asterisk. Hmm, yeah, they they wouldn't toss that info around. Like, that just sounds... A the ones that too... aren't are my DBS socials and no haven't heard of M. Sorry. Ah. Now, I'll send you the info on Pleasant Green um, after stream, because they got some interesting shit, not gonna lie. DBS? DBS is short for Dat Boy Satan. He's been... That's just been his shtick, and we love him for it. Oh. Yeah. Not to mention I don't think I'm that fucking big of an artist slash creator yet to be getting DMS and stuff from the oldest secret society lol. Right? It's also my brand name at Soul CP Chan. Guess it what? What's up? Double bonk. Double Chicken bonk. butt. <laughs> Aha! You can't do a double bonk! And why did the sound alert not go off? I'm surprised the sound didn't go off. Oh, there's the sound. Oh, you can do a double huh. bonk. Okay. Adorable. I did not expect that to be that And adorable. now I has no points. Well, whose fault is that? I say that in the most loving, sarcastic way possible. Went from H.A. You can't do that to oh shit, you can do that. <laughs> Basically. Yours. I shall build power. <laughs> I, I love how immediately as you said that bunny, DBS gave another bomb. Perfect timing, I swear. 
Perfect timing indeed. Yes, that was bomb. fucking good. Yas. Bonk me if you fucking dare. Also, I redeemed a thing road. Oh. Oh, dissociative trivia. Haha. -ha. Okay. So. Here's a little bit of trivia for you. In the modern era, four one... times. In the modern era, one of the most infamous uh, in dissociative individuals, especially in regards to Western dissociation history, is Sybil. Sybil uh, had a biography Indeed. written uh, by her and her therapist. However, it was around 1971 that she said that she had faked being dissociative. Keep in mind this was also when dissociative identity disorder and dissociative disorders were still called multiple personality disorder. So Sybil saying that she faked her dissociation Didn't after... she have like 24-ish outs? Yeah, she claimed to have 20, around 24 alters, uh, and at, after she claimed then that she was faking, which that is contested in and of itself, that spread a lot of misinformation and disinformation regarding dissociative disorders and is a big reason on why a lot of people assume today that a lot of people that have dissociative disorders are faking. Because one of the most prolific figures in dissociative history in the modern era said that she was faking. Can we say that she was faking? Not really. Even when a system says that they're faking, sometimes it is a an attempt of a coping mechanism to get away from stress. It is a very toxic response and has a lot of consequences, especially when you are forced to be the face of a, basically the face of a disorder, the face of a disability. But obviously, Sybil saying that she was faking nonetheless has massive ramifications even to today. People also theories it was a different alt of hers that was trying to get them out the spotlight. Oh, 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 what this button do? Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying, uh, DBS. Sometimes a member of the system, sometimes an alter or headmate, someone in the system. Soul CP Chan played oh, Coffin my... Dance for 100 oh. bits. Ah! Yeah. Other people double down on her faking her dissociation, whereas it's it can't really be said 100% if she faked or not, because again, it's the whole, like, was it an alter or headmate that was getting too overstimulated and too frightened by all of the attention? OLP. Or was it seriously, um, and no, it's all good. Like, the music's meant to be there. Um, I just got overstimulated, so I turned down the volume because I also wanted to talk. But um, we can't really say, especially because it was 50 years ago, and Sybil is, I believe Sybil's dead. Um, we can't really say if it was an alter or a headmate that was too overstimulated and scared from the attention and wanted the attention to stop or if it was seriously Sybil as a singlet or as one identity being like, yeah, the, the ruse needs to go. We, we can't really say either or. We, we honestly can't. Let me throw hands with the dragon. Do it. It wants to fight. Do it. Fucking let him go to battle then, DBS. Do it.
sorry for the spam in your DMS got the stuff needed for spell checking take your time after stream. Not a problem Lexi. And yeah, I will take a look at, at those in a bit. Tell me I am broketh. Well then how about you save those flippin' points for later because I think I am just, I am basically done with this. I might actually make the border on T. Dedeme here just a little thicker. But after that, I no think bonks. I'm going to be finishing up for tonight. No bonks. But actually, while I'm working on this, um, I'm going to see who's online and see who we can raid. Bonks uh? too important to save money. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, Lexi. Most bonk. Can I make suggestion? Um, I do have a point redeem for the raid, so I would rather you save any suggestions for when you have enough points for the raid suggestion. I do have someone in mind. Um, I'm thinking of, and I'm going to warn everyone um, in case now is not a good time if people are not in the headspace for Fair. this. Just thought I'd ask lol. Yeah, no, understandable. I appreciate the ask, but uh, there is someone that I think um, I would like us to raid. I will note that uh, her content is 18 plus and what she's playing right now uh, is a horror game. Um, if that's not your guys' cup of tea, you don't need to stick around for the raid. It's totally understandable. Um, but I am planning on raiding uh, Lexi Grimm. She is a friend of Asterix or Le Lexi's over here. That I, I swear think every time I say enjoy. I'm leaving, I stay till the end of stream. Yeah, it's the Midwesterner that in all of us, I think. Like the, like the yeah, I want to do a thing, and it never we never actually do it until we just say the perfect. Oh, we don't we don't do it Yo, unless we I say. I swear oh, I was or... gonna redeem for her. Lol. <laughs> I read your mind. Well, Lexi. I have to head to bed soon. It's soon 3 a.m. Every time, bro, I am Midwestern. <laughs> but yeah, let me get the raid set up actually to send us over to Lexi Grimm's way. And with that, I am also going to note or that- Or like we always say, we'll leave then don't leave and talk for like eight more hours. Right? Oh, 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 I have batch. Yes, you do have badge, cause you, you did the bits, so you're the bits leader. Uh, actually, speaking of, for those night at Soul CP Chan. Uh, so we are going to start up the raid. O L P at. Also, I... once more, five fucking ads. Oof. So we do have the a road nice to little... dusk has led the raiders to you. Hello. We do have a raid message. Anyways, night, y'all. And for those that have uh, subscribed, we actually have a special little new raid emote that I would love for y'all to mess with. If I can actually see it again. Um, if my computer will work with me. <laughs> I gotta type this up manually because my computer's a butt. But. Oh. Here we go. The road to dusk had led to For you. Those... Hello. Oh, that's. I wrote that in the past tense. Damn it. Okay, can't. Can't fix it now, but. I would love for y'all to spread the word the road and show to dusk the news. had led to you. Hello. I will see you all next time as we are going to prep for the stream. I am almost out of time. Love you all. Enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time zone it is for you.
as we say bye bye